factor trinomials, radicals and fractional exponents. The exponent becomes the numerator in the fractional exponent, while the index becomes the denominator of the in the fractional exponent. And one of the things you need to keep in mind is to simplify fractional exponents whenever possible. So let's take a look at our examples here. We're going to simplify this using a fractional exponent. This is our numerator. This is our denominator. So that means we have x to the 12 over 4. Well, 12 divided by 4 is 3, so this is going to equal x to the third power. And you can see how simple that is to, to do that way. In our second example, they want this as a radical. Right now it's written as with a fractional exponent. So remember that this is the exponent. This is the index. So this means that we have the eighth root of 5 to the fifth power. And we'll just leave it like that. Unless they ask you to, to do a little more simplifying there. Okay, let's take a look at our third example. They want us to write using a fractional exponent, but um, we also want to take our 64 and do a rewrite of that. 64, if you remember, is a cubic root of, which has, has 4 cubed. So we can use that, or if you um, broke it down, used prime factorization, you would get 2 to the 6th power. I'm going to show you that they both are going to end up equally in the same. So this right here, if we're going to write the cubic root of this, remember that the exponent is our numerator, so we have 3 over 3, which is just 1, so this is going to equal 4 to the 1 power, or in other words, just 4. On our other one, we write that as a cubic root. This is going to be 2. Exponent is a numerator. Index is a denominator. This is going to give us 2. 6 divided by 3 is 2, so we have 2 squared, which is 4. So we had, did this two different ways um, using the fractional exponents, but both give us the same answer.